steps, beautiful women for putting their bodies out there for the world to see. Some women, big and small, are outraged when heavyset women do the same thing. A lot of these people are calling it fat exploitation. Um, still with me is Queen Raki, who gave us a behind the scenes, like step by step peek at what goes on between her and her clients when she's squashing them or stepping on them. And her newest client is a really big fan of hers. I am so excited to meet Queen Raki. Uh, I'm a big fan of hers. I have her website and my favorite spa at home. Uh, I can't wait for her to service me. And she's the top of her line of business, and I'm really looking forward to it. You already know the procedure, but I just want you to let me know if there's any too much pressure, if you have too much pressure, you know, in the chest area, anywhere that um, you feel uncomfortable, just give me a tap or tell me that you want me to get up. All right. Ready? I'm ready. Okay. Are you comfortable? Oh, I'm in heaven. <laughs> okay. Paradise. Um, I can lean back a little? Yes. Okay. I'm in heaven. I feel totally together. It's a euphoric state of being. <laughs> <laughs> You're so beautiful. <laughs> You're looking at a happy man. So, who just saw is Wayne? Before the break, I was talking about these closeted guys. So you were one of those guys that really liked bigger women, but did not go about dating them in the in the public. Tell me about that. Yeah, for years I was a closet FA, a closet fat admirer. A what? A closet FA. A closet, closet FA. Fat admirer. Fat admirer. Fat yes. admirer. Okay, admirer, never heard yeah. that. Yeah. Okay. And there are more men than you can uh, would believe that are fat admirers also. In the closet. So you were too scared to admit it because? Of family, friends, relationships, mm -hmm. you know. And I got to a certain age where I began to mature. And I began to have confidence in myself and know who I am. And I said, you know, forget everybody. I'm going to mm -hmm. be happy. I'm going to date who I want to date. Well, it's like, uh, it, it, if you come home from a hard day's work, and you want to just get in your bed and pull the comforter up and you just kind of sink into the mattress and let all uh -huh. the stress and strain of a day just, just kind of go away. But it's like that on steroids. <laughs> like that on steroids. Okay. It's, it's, it's ten times more intense. In our audience today is Yael, who has been a guest of the Tyra Show before, and she's been an open opponent of the heavy set class. In fact, check her out this moment from a previous Tyra Show where I told everybody to kiss my fat ass. I know we all remember yeah. that show, right? Yeah. 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 Well, right after that, I had a panel of different models on. Uh, skinny models, plus-size models, curvy models. Yael was representing thin models, and this is what she had to say. You considering yourself curved? I'm curvy, baby. Maybe you're fat. <laughs> and I'm very I'm sorry to tell you that. I'm fabulous. And you know and what? I've worked hard to get this body that I have. You know what? Not only that, I'm not talking about beauty, I'm talking about fat. And if you think you're healthy, you're super wrong. Need How much do you weigh? 88 pounds. 88 pounds? And that's my, that's overweight for me. I'm 80 pounds. Okay, so Yael, you, you heard that we were bringing Jim and Eddie back today, and I know you wanted to be here. Um, sure. What do you have to say about um, Wayne's uh, fascination with thicker as opposed it's, to thin? Uh, for me, as a thin person, it's just hard to understand how can you prefer a fat woman with all those bunch of, you know, pieces of meat all over her, you know, against a, you know, tone, very skinny, lean, you know, sexy body. It's just the way what I see makes it. my body not sexy? Definitely not sexy. Okay, facts. Go, I'm five times more human. I deserve five hey. times the respect. I respect you for being you. Respect me for being me. strong you don't back yeah, down what do you I, have just to say to that? I just think that it's not only you're not sexy you're very unhealthy and you just you know encouraging all these women who says I'm unhealthy? Encouraging all who these says women I'm unhealthy? to be unhealthy and to think to be fat like you it's a good thing it's an actually when I go to the doctor and I get my blood test I don't have cholesterol the majority I don't have the majority diabetes. of people wouldn't I don't have agree that you're sexy I, I watch what I eat yourself. I watch my salt intake 
I don't How like to eat fast food. How can you watch what you eat and you eat 600 careful. pounds? Okay. This makes no I sense. I could say that to me that you don't look healthy. I have an audience because member here. Because of the way you look. I have an audience. I have an audience member here that wants to say something. What's Hi. your name? Maria. Hi. Hi. Yeah, well, I have a question for you. Sure. Are you healthy? I'm very do you healthy. Have, do you eat well? I eat very healthy. You don't look very healthy. I actually, I don't know. I actually do. Okay. I do eat very healthy. Okay. And again, it's what you eat, and it's not how much you eat, and okay. what you eat. I think she should feel good about herself. I think that it's hard for bigger women to feel good about themselves. And you're making it harder for you. Tell me that you agree with the way she looks. I you think she's wanna, beautiful. You would want to look at yourself in the mirror yeah. and to look like I that. I think she's beautiful. I think she should feel I think good about lying. herself. I think nope. you're lying. Nope. Live your I life think. and let me I live mine. I think you're just jealous okay. of skinny women. Our guests, all of our full figured women are on our stage right now. I know the audience has some questions. Who has questions for any of the women? You have a question? Come on over. Come on up to the, this is the pretty light. <laughs> up to the pretty light. What's How your you name? Avi. Avi, what's your question? Oh, the girl that used to do my weave, her name was Avi. Well, my, my real name is Avantage. Oh, Avantage. Yes. Well, Avantage, what is your question? <laughs> well, I have to say, you know, I respect you guys. You know, you, you guys have a, a, a strong heart, you know, and I, I really respect that. But do any of you have any children? You have children? Okay. Um, some of you do pose naked on the internet and have pictures. And I, I understand that. But what I don't understand is how would you feel if your child, small, young, it, it doesn't matter, would surf the internet, okay, and come across your pictures or your videos? You know, I'm sorry, but I find that a little bit disgusting. Okay. Um, I do model. I have model lingerie, okay? Uh, I haven't done nude modeling. I respect all the women for what they do. And I give you respect my, for that. My daughter, she happened to tell a friend at school about my website. And um, my daughter actually thinks what I do is funny. <laughs> Most of them, <laughs> my family do. But um, I got a call from the mother and said, you know, my daughter happened to go to your website and find out this. And I actually was kind of positive. She said, you know, um, I see what you're doing. I told my daughter uh, that what you're doing you're doing it respectfully tastefully you respect yourself not only that she said this is not the only thing that you're doing you know so her friend went to all my websites went to my online magazine went to many of the different things i do saw the many different things that i do and i think all of us are women are more than one aspect i know i am right. so there's so many things that we do in our communities and you want to know what there are people out there who are doing pornography doing movies and all that and their children deal with it and are fine with it. And it's just because we're bigger, you know, maybe someone who wants to do pornography or wants to take pictures, it can actually show pride of self and teach our children that guess what? You can be proud at any size, no matter what you do, if you're a good mom. Okay. Okay, that's that. Who else has a question?